In this video, I'm gonna show you what to do when your fall food plot doesn't grow. So as you can see, the food plot's doing pretty good. Um, not so much right in this general area. There's a lot, there's a couple weeds, um, good amount of weeds in the middle, but on the sides, there's really good uh, brassica germinations and back in this corner. And the reason is, is because all the water that we got, all the rainwater, washed my seed down to the edges. And so since the seed wasn't there, then some of the weeds sprouted up. But overall, it's still doing pretty good, and uh, the clover's doing okay, but we, it looks pretty good right now as it is. Saw a nice buck in it yesterday um, on the camera. But what should you do when your fall food plot fails? And what, say, we had less germination than this. What should we do if there's not a good amount of germination? And so, obviously, I planted this in August 1st, and it's not August 1st now. But um, right now it's a Labor Day, and that's the perfect time to plant some winter rye. This is a 40 pound bag, and actually winter rye is really a lot cheaper than most of these. I got this 40 pound bag for uh, 20 bucks. That doesn't include shipping, but 20 bucks for a 40 pound bag of rye. Some of the other ones, a five pound bag of brassicas costs 20 bucks, and this is 40 pounds. So that shows you how cheap this is, and you don't. There's nothing really that you have to do to it except spread it onto your food plot. You can spread it right on top of the soil, the bare soil that we have right here, or into, there was a, some spots where they were bare, but there were still some brassicas right there. You can spread it right into the brassicas too. And um, if you don't have good germination of brassicas, then you can run it over with your four-wheeler tires. In this case, we're not going to do that because I don't want to crush any brassicas that are still, um, still living. But this 40 pound bag of rye, like I said, you don't have to get that big of a bag. This will last me for probably two or three years. And so if we have bare spots like we did this year, and it was just because of all the rain that we got, just come in here and spread a pretty heavy on the rye, and then you can really save your fall food plot. Rye is a fast germination, quick germination. So this is, it's the first week of September. Spread it then, by the time it we're gonna hunt and that's October 1st then this will be all this food plot will be full of a good amount of food and so there were turnips over there that grow really well but so much rainwater got to them that some of them died so I'm gonna spread rye right into there I don't know how rye reacts to rain but I know that the turnips react good to rain and that's still washed there we got so much water that it washed some of it out so um, I planted some rye over there by the turnips too. But overall, the food plot's working really good. And if you have bare spots, if your food plot just failed in general, try getting some rye, spread it right onto your food plot. If you can, run it over with four-wheeler tires to pack it down. Or uh, if you got a Packer Max or something like that, a tow-behind packer, then you can do that too to pack the seed down. But if your food plot fails, just put rye on it and it should be really good by the time that the season comes.